Hi, it's Matt here for Newshooter.com at NEB 2017. I'm with Marcus from Arri. Now we're talking version 5.0 firmware for both the Alexa Mini and the Arri Amira. Exactly, we have SUP5 in the pipe which is uh, coming in the next few weeks and uh, there's one big new feature in, in that SUP that is the new look library. So we have a bundle, we have created it together with our post-production facility in Munich, Ari Media, we have created about 87 looks which are uh, distributed as a license or also with new cameras It will be integrated in, in some models on the cameras already and uh, you can select your looks on the camera. There's an app where you can select looks and uh, they can be used right away from the camera to burn in or to use it as a Bloxy metadata for later post-production. So how do these differ from normal LUTs or they basically are the same as LUTs? They are the same as LUTs. They are just uh, new from a creative standpoint. So technically they are normal looks including a 3D LUT but we have created uh, a whole bunch of different kind of creative uh, aspects like film looks, like bleach bypass, like uh, black and white of course, all these things. Everything you we imagine you would want to uh, need on a, on a typical production. Fantastic. And what else is part of uh, the new 5.0 release? On the Amira side, the multicam part is obviously a very important part. So we have updates there. We support now dual 6G which allows external SDI recording in, in 4K UHD up to 60p. So with that, that, and with the audio now, was that now working? That is also the audio is included in the SDI stream, that, that is correct. Also coming with that is that you can uh, modify now looks, also including a look library when you are in multicam mode. So far in multicam mode there was only the REC 709 look, now you can use different all kinds of, of looks and you also can modify them with the RCP. And anything else of significance? A lot of other things. Uh, we have 1.3 anamorphic disc width, both for the Amira and, and, and the Mini. So in that way, for the Amira, for example, 16 by 9 sensor, 1.3 anamorphics are perfectly for 16 by 9 and you can create a 239 anamorphic in post from that. We have uh, master grip support, so we see here our master grips. They uh, now have three axis control for the uh, ENG style lenses with the servo. So three axis means of course focus, zoom and iris. You have them on, on your master grips. Support for EF lenses, that's a very nice thing. We show on the other camera there. So iris and uh, focus is on the master grips for EF lenses. You don't need any motor of course, because EF lenses have that all integrated, so we can control that with, with, with that. Then is it supporting uh, image stabilization yet or not? It is, that, that is another part, a lot of updates on the EF control part, so we have overworked the whole EF protocol, so that works now very smoothly with all kinds of different lenses. We had some limitations before, so that includes also, brand, also lenses from other brands, uh, EF lenses from other brands, and it also includes stabilizer support for EF lenses. And uh, anything else? Uh, anything else, yes, we have the camera access protocol, so that, that is a way how you can remote control the look parameters, but also operational functions from both the Amira and the Mini. So in that way you can use a like grading system, use wirelessly or through Ethernet and grade on your camera. And there's even more features. So on the Mini we have X-Sync, so you can, uh, you can synchronize multiple cameras up to 16 actually if you want to use 360 or if you want to use 3D. Then there is the VCO4 support, there's uh, lens data wirelessly transfer, there's also playback control from the VCO4. Then there's improvements on, on ECS for updates and gears are counted automatically, all these little things. That is all for the Mini. Then we have monitoring improvements on both cameras again, so it's now possible uh, to have 2397 like non-integer frame rates on both SDI outputs. That was not possible on the Amira so far. We have the dual 6 g support I mentioned already, so we have overworked the whole SDI uh, core thing. We have overworked the timecode and synchronization part, so with the timecode we have a now a dedicated champ sync function. And uh, we have also, if you are in, uh, in a synced timecode mode, uh, when you, so far when you switch to uh, higher frame rates, different frame rates, you would lose that sync, so that is now capped if you come back from your high frame rate the time code, the sync time code will be capped. Then we have uh, um, a new setup handling, user setup handling, so you can define blocks of your setup like uh, codec and resolution or like user buttons and all those. There are four different segments which you can select then when you save the user set and then you would only then take that part of the user set to the other camera. 
Um, Wi-Fi inf infrastructure mode is an important part, so that is an uh, important new feature, so you can connect the camera now to a separate Wi-Fi. So far the camera was the access point, now we can use a different access point and connect the camera or multiple cameras to that access point. So that's also a big advantage if you have kind of more complicated environments for Wi-Fi. And last but not least, we have new side covers for the Amira. So they are now in magnesium, so they are 100 grams lighter. And when's this release going to be available to download for users? Uh, in the next few weeks. We have, done, we have not fixed the release date, but it's coming soon. Thanks very much. You're very welcome.